Coming to you from base camp today, and uh, I've tried to send out several videos. Sorry, the uh, mountain's kind of unforgiving when it comes to signal, but recap kind of everything, if you haven't gotten any of them, because I can't even check Facebook, it seems like, is I've gotten into a lot of really good bulls, um, four of which I would take. The one bull that I've been after, uh, he's he's very, very big. Um I posted a picture of him, I think, and he is tough because he's surrounded by cows every day. So I've tried almost every method I could from bugling over top of him, which I have maybe blown on my bugle three times this whole time I've been in this country. And uh, they're not, they're, although they're responsive and they bugle back, they just kind of ignore, not only me, they ignore each other, which is customary usually have like really high pressure bulls and uh, I have not seen anyone else until two days ago a uh, horseman came in now we've got an October rifle season I guess that started and things are getting tough uh, there's lots of people coming in from not just Idaho there are Montana bull hunters showing up now I'm not sure how they got in here possibly the same way I did but I kind of doubt it so horses possibly there certainly seems to be the vehicle of choice around most of these places. I'm not feeding a horse all year though, just for a week. Kind of, <laughs> for me, that doesn't quite fit my lifestyle. But I'm, a, uh, I'm just going to have to keep hoofing it like I always do. So I'm moving my camp. Not my base camp, I'm going to keep it here. But I'm going to take just my sleeping bag and my bivy and what little food and uh, water I need. And I'm going to go in as deep as I can humanly get, but I'm going to have to do it in the dark. Otherwise, if I do it in the daytime, I run the chance of them seeing me. The bulls, I mean, elk, there's about 50 of them now in his herd. It's getting larger. And unfortunately, I've got some bow hunters who've also found them. So I shall uh, press forward and hopefully... Get under 160 yards from my hoss. If not, I'll take one of these other bulls. They're pretty good. And I've passed uh, several of them throughout the week. So, officially the past couple days. But I want that big one. But I also want meat for my family. So, if I can't get one of these more mature bulls that are over 5 years old, I'll take a cow. I've been able to shoot one every day without fail. So, except for one day in storms. So, I'm off. Repack, relocate, boots on, bows up, wish me luck.